on the InfoWars.com online video bookstore. Now with over 25 t-shirts spreading the Liberty message and a whole bunch of different ball caps. That's just the three newest. Don't tread on me and come and take it. All right, final minutes. I want to talk to Michael and Mass uh, with the uh, Dr. Rand Paul website, RandPaul2010.com or RunRandRun.com for the uh, the uh, money bomb coming up on the 20th of next month. We'll have him back on, maybe even his dad on. Ron Paul's on next week. My producer got the hours wrong, so he's on with us, D Dr. Ron Paul. Uh, the father of Rand Paul's on next week for us for 30 minutes to talk about a host of issues. Rand, I was asking you about John P. Holdren, the science are. You said you'd heard about it in the news, but not the details. But generally, these social planners admit they want socialized health care. They want carbon tax, he says, to carry out eugenics and even the forced drugging of the water to sterilize us. That sounds like Nazi Germany to me. What would you do in the Senate uh, about this? Well, if I were there, we'd get to expose it before he's gotten a hearing or during the hearings. These hearings, uh, that's what exactly what they're for. And wouldn't it be great to have a voice in the Senate that could expose this before he gets approved? Dr. Paul, do you think the New World Order is going to succeed? I mean, we're really seeing an awakening happening right now that we couldn't have imagined years ago. But is it going to be enough? Well, I think when you go back, you know, one way to look at it is, is probably 30 years ago, nobody thought there'd be one currency in Europe. Right now, most people don't think there could be one currency in our country, and yet the talk of the Amero is out there, and they poo-poo it, and they try to describe us as crazy or off the wall, but they are talking about it. And I think their way of getting to most things is gradualism, although I think Obama's doing a sudden move forward on a lot of things. Um, yeah, I think there's a huge danger of it, and I think the problem is is that we have so many politicians on both sides that are these career politicians, and the ones that evolve to the top of the Republican and the Democrat Party end up being the people who don't believe in anything, who really don't have any ideology, and they get pushed around by the New World Order types. The sellouts, the social climbers. Exactly. What, in, in, in 60 seconds, what can everybody do to make sure you run for Senate and you win for Senate? If you can go to our website, and if you can also pledge for the money bomb, we will turn this race completely upside down. If we raise a million dollars on August 20th, there's no stopping us. We will have a odds-on, even chance of winning our race if we raise a million in one day. It'll be a national story. Mm -hmm. It'll be a statewide story. It will be all over the press if we raise a million dollars in one day. And the media loves to criticize you guys trying to raise money. How dare them? The globalists take our money, use it against us. You're asking for it if you want somebody in Washington to stop the thieving, stop the gang raping. Quickly, Michael and Mash, you got time for a 30-second question. Go ahead, Michael. Dr. Paul, got a good question, but uh, I want to tell you right off the bat, I got 150 bucks of your name on it, buddy. All right, thanks. All right. All right, I wanted to talk about perception. I asked your father about this before on the Jones Show. It seems to me that the main problem that the American people have with the New World Order and globalism in, in general is they don't have an accurate perception of what is going on here. Have you ever read things like uh, The Effect of Science on Society, you know, those type of weird psychology books that were written by, uh, like, Skinner? Yeah, and written by the scientific is, dictators. I have read that. That's why I understand their attack profile. Uh, but, uh, Dr. Paul, are you aware of the psychological warfare systems they're using? Yes, I am. I have not read that book, The Effect of Science. Caller? Yeah, um, I just was, I was just hoping you could, perhaps before you make this run, educate yourself specifically on that because it's these techniques that are going to be used against you. And if you understand it, it will be, you know, it just won't work. Well, well he's a smart guy. You. Yeah, and, and he's got guts and the Constitution, Bill of Rights, and that's enough. We're behind him. Dr. Rand Paul, we'll have you back on uh, right before the money bomb. We'll have your dad talk about it as well. God bless you. Godspeed. And we really appreciate your time with us today. Thanks, Alex. Great guy, folks. Get behind him.